Hello guys, it's me. I hope you can tell. Unless I was taken over by someone else. Could happen? Probably not though. Today I am cozy, just like every other day when we're in social distance mode. But uh, I've got these socks on. Jake the dog, Finn the human, my buddies are here with me today because that's what I wanted to talk about was Adventure Time, the Midnight Gospel that was just released on Netflix, and Pendleton Ward, just a little bit. Uh, I want to talk about these things because they're all tied together by Pendleton Ward because uh, he does great work. So all I know about Pendleton is that his name is Ward Taylor Pendleton Ward Taylor Pendleton Johnston or <laughs> Ward yeah Ward Taylor Pendleton Johnston uh, he's 37 years old his birthday is September 23rd so he just makes Libra and uh, if you don't care about zodiacal astrological stuff then no biggie but Libras are balanced and I like that and they're lovers and I like people who love especially Pendleton because he makes very good wholesome loving animation things where characters grow so I'll start with Adventure Time Adventure Time begins uh, with Finn and Jake, two best buds, brothers, uh, and Finn is a human and Jake is the dog, and that's all you need to know, and it's loosely based on D&D &D lore. The Adventure Time logo is a Dungeons and Dragon type thing, and, you know, don't let the dragon drag on, man! Uh, they've got different characters and things that come into play that are referential to D&D &D things, which I found out that Pendleton Ward did, um... He helped oversee the story for 5e, Tomb of Annihilation, Dungeons and Dragons. We'll do a Dungeons and Dragons talk another day, but yeah, 2017 he helped, he was a story consultant for the Tomb of Annihilation. So I love Dungeons and Dragons, I love Adventure Time, I love the Midnight Gospel that just came out, so I love Pendleton Ward. So, um... If he ever sees my diary vlog thing, love you, Pendleton. Thank you so much. Thank you for what you've done to change my life. I really do appreciate it. So Finn grows up over the course of 10 seasons of Adventure Time. Now, Pendleton wasn't behind all of it. Sort of halfway through the series, he was driven nuts by making Adventure Time, which I can't say that I don't understand because... It's a lot, and people get hungry for things that are good, and they want more, and sometimes it's hard to keep up. Um, I feel like if he kept being the main person creating that show, he probably would have had a heart attack or something. Um, so, respect, he still oversaw things. Again, I read this on Wikipedia, so if you want to know more about him, uh, the most that you can find out is maybe finding personal fan pages about him or talking to him or Wikipedia, which is, I didn't do that much research. I just know that I love his work. Um, so Finn the Human grows up over those ten seasons, and uh, it's a beautiful thing to watch. And by the end of the ten seasons, all the characters have tied up their beef. And I found that really, I keep saying wholesome, but it's true. It, it completes, the, it completed the circle, tied everything up in a nice big fat ribbon. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Made me cry. Uh, there are so many episodes in that show that touched me so, on such a deep level, that I couldn't help but cry. You know, it's like, sometimes I want to cry, and then I well up, and I'm like, no, I don't need to cry. It's like, that character isn't me, I don't need to identify with them, but Adventure Time, man, some of the things that these characters go through are so pivotal and life-changing, and I can't help but 
feel changed by them, especially because we watch the characters change over the series. You know, to grow with something as you watch it is sort of beautiful. It's a lot different than a movie where it's like, yeah, maybe a character grew up over it. They have different actors play it. It's just not the same. I don't know. Ten seasons is a lot, and I love to see... I loved seeing Finn change and everything that he went through. And Marceline and Bubblegum, how they are together forever, basically, and uh, quelled their beef as well. And, um, you know, come to think of it, I didn't see much of Lumpy Space Princess. Is that because Pendleton wasn't there? He probably just... Oh, oh yeah, she was there. Anyways... Um, one of the episodes that made me cry first was Simon Petrikov and Marceline's story where they're singing together and the lyrics that Marceline's singing are things Simon wrote down before but during his change into madness because of that crown. Very. That's when it kicked in for me that the show was going to be way deeper than I thought it was because when I started watching it, I was smoking weed in high school, and I thought, whoa, this is like the perfect show to watch when I'm high. And I think because of the animation and the color and everything, yes, definitely it was the perfect thing to watch, but also the realness of it. And some people chalk it up to like the show as like, oh, it's a cartoon. I don't watch cartoons. First of all, why not? <laughs> you don't watch cartoons? Why? Because you think that they're childish? Mm, that's ages. Do you think that... Are you like... I don't know. I don't even want to begin to think into a mind of someone that like just puts something down before having tried it and saying like, I just don't do that thing. And it's like, sometimes I understand. It's all circumstantial. I don't uh, jump off cliffs, personally. Some people do, with the necessary safety tools, of course, but it's not something I do. But that's not to say I wouldn't try it if I had the opportunity. So, think about that. Anyways, um, what was I saying? So, it's a cartoon, and yeah, I thought... It was going to be just like a good animated show to watch while I was high, but it turned into being something that changed my life. And I appreciate that. Now, if you don't have the time to spend with the characters, watching them grow over ten whole seasons, which now's the time if you're going to do that, because let's binge, you know? Um... We got all this time to spend on our own and inside. Let's binge it. But if you don't want to involve yourself in that process, then you can watch The Midnight Gospel, which uh, follows Clancy over only eight episodes, and he grows and develops. And that is just as fantastic. Also helped, Pendleton also helped create that, so... You know, one or the other, both I say, but if you don't have time, Midnight Gospel. Uh, Midnight Gospel starts the first episode with zombies, which is funny because Adventure Time, the first episode started with zombies. So I thought that was pretty cool. No coincidence, I think. Uh, Duncan Trussell, the guy who voices Clancy, does real life interviews with very... In not influential, but maybe influential, people that have a good mind on what their thing is. So, um, whether it's drugs and psychedelics and the use of them, or the burial of dead bodies, or um, my favorite, which I think it's everyone's favorite because it was the real tearjerker, is um, Duncan did an interview with his mother years ago before she passed away of cancer. Um, and he talked with her about 
the fear of death and life and love and I think that is so beautiful that he put something so personal in my opinion and yeah clearly he does interviews with people and that's why that show the midnight gospel is a thing but I feel like his interview with his mom is such a personal, beautiful thing um, that I'm just appreciative that he shared it with us because whew, it made me feel so many things and I could cry right now. <laughs> uh, highly suggest. That's, you know what, that's basically all I have to say is I think you should watch these things. They're life changing, they're beautiful. Uh, very, very good people are behind it, and the messages are pure and wholesome. <laughs> uh, yep, I've got, let's see, get rid of these things. Clancy is my, what's it called, not home screen, but the lock screen. And then when I open up, I've got... Finn and Jake as my wallpaper, which um, I didn't intentionally do at first, and then I was like, oh my gosh, Pendleton was behind both of those. I'm going to do an episode about them because I love those shows very much, and I wish that more people would watch it so I can talk with them. I have Munchkin, Adventure Time Munchkin. So much fun. I always win. And I do sort of put up a fit when people gang up against me and then I go that much harder. I go hard on these people trying to fight me in Adventure Time Munchkin. I'm gonna get equipped baby and I'm gonna make the necessary alliances I need to to make sure I get even more equipped and we're gonna take down the monsters together after kicking down the door and fudge anyone that tries to beat me in that game. The day I lose is the day I'll be okay with it, and I won't be a poor sport at all, because I'm super cool about losing. Uh, and then we also have Card Wars, but I haven't really played that. It's sort of like Magic, I think. Magic the Gathering. And I heard that they're not making it anymore, but um, maybe I'll get into it. Mm -hmm. Know a little bit more. Long story short, as always, uh these things are good and I don't think I would like them if they weren't. So it's all a matter of opinion, but if yours is not the same as mine, then I'm going to be outraged. No, it's not true. Uh, ask me any questions and I will put the list of episodes that really moved me in the pee pee poo poo, uh, cause there were a lot for Adventure Time. Midnight Gospel, I'm not putting any episodes in the pee-pee poo-poo because you can just go on to Netflix and I'm not advertising for them unless they want to give me money. Um, but it's eight episodes and it's very good. It's enthralling. Oh, good stuff, man. Thank you, P. Ward. Thank you, Duncan Trussell. Thank you, Boyce for providing such a good service that warms my heart and fills me with joy and happiness. Thank you, my maggots. Is it too soon to call you that? Yeah, I don't know if I have a big enough following yet to call my followers maggots, but Maggie maggots. We'll work on it. Magbees? You all want to be Pokemon? And we'll talk about it. If you want to give me suggestions on what I should call my followers. No, you know what? Don't give me suggestions. I know what I want to call you. It's maggots. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week, Monday. I've got other stuff to talk about. I'm going to talk about Altered Carbon. I don't know if I said that already. Maybe I did. If I didn't, that's what I'm talking about. If I did, beep, beep, boop, boop, pee, pee, poop, poop. Check out the thing for the links in the stock band. You know, fuck that though. If you want to see my video on Mondays and Fridays, because then you'll get notified with that ding. After you tap it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Um, Psydog says peace out. Oh my gosh, I just totally took that from Matt Colville. Matt Colville. I adore you. I'm going to do an episode on him, too, at some point. I will. 
very big inspiration. Anyways, see you later. Thanks for being here. And I hope you have a good night doing whatever you're doing.